Hello everyone and welcome to Mixed Grammar Test Part 9. Like the others in my series, this is another mixed grammar test. So, take your time and pause the video at each question to give yourself a little more time to think of the answer. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Number 1. And the answer is, my wife bought me three pairs of pants for Christmas this year. In this case, we're counting the pairs of pants. So it's a plural. If we were talking about a single pair of pants, it would be pair. All right. But here we're talking about three pairs. Okay. And that's why B is the answer. All right, number two. And the answer is, my cousin Jim is going to a university in Maryland this fall. This is an article question. We need a here because university begins with a consonant sound. All right, with consonants, we use a, and with vowel sounds, we use n. So in this case, university, that's a consonant sound, like a y. All right, if you're a little bit unsure about this, take a look at my article videos. I have many of them. It'll help you. Okay? All right, number three. And the answer is, who is the best gymnast among the three brothers? All right, we're looking for a superlative here. It's the best gymnast among more than two, right? So we don't use comparative. We use a superlative here. It wouldn't be between and it wouldn't be compared. It would be the best among the three. Got it? All right. Number four. And the answer is, please bring every one of your books to school today. Now, notice how this is every one. It's two words. All right. It means each book, each one of them. All right. You got it? All right. Number five. And the answer is, some video games have a bad effect on children. Now, effect here, in this case, we need a noun, all right, not a verb. So it's a bad effect, all right, and that's the E-F-F-E-C-T, all right? I know these are confusing, but it's always about the context. How are they used? You got it? All right. Number six. And the answer is, I grew more vegetables this year than I did last year. In this sentence, we are making a comparison between this year and last year. So we need then. You got it? All right. Number seven. And the answer is, riding in a race car is an exhilarating experience. All right, exhilarating means very exciting or thrilling. All right, we need an adjective and that's the only one that works there. All right, number eight. And the answer is, robots have helped companies do many tedious jobs that humans find very boring. All right, this is tedious. This word means very monotonous, is another good word for you. It means very boring. 
do the same thing over and over again. All right. So the other words, if you're not sure about them, look them up. Okay. All right. Number nine. And the answer is, I managed to tug my dog home. Now, tug means to pull, all right? In this case, it has to be tug because we're using an infinitive. So it's always the base form of the verb, right? In this case, it's tug. So those other forms won't work with the infinitive to tug. Okay, you got it? All right, number 10. And the answer is, after heavy rain, the little stream becomes a raging torrent. Okay, torrent means a large amount of water moving violently in this case. All right, raging. All right, that's what torrent means in this particular context. Okay, if you're not sure about the other words, like the, like the last question, look them up. Okay. All right, number 11. And the answer is, last summer, the small town thrived because of its antique shows. All right, so we need thrived here. This is last summer. It's the past tense. And the word thrive means to be successful or to do well. So the town was... Even we can use the word prosperous, all right? It, they did well because of the antique shows. Okay, you got it? All right, number 12. And the answer is, if wood boards get wet, they usually begin to warp a little. Warp means bend, and in this particular case, we need the infinitive because it's two, right? Two warp. It's the only one that works here. All right, number 13. And the answer is, I think that snake charming is fascinating and at times mystifying. So we're using two adjectives here, fascinating and mystifying. All right, mystifying basically means it confuses you. It's almost like you're, it's like a magical thing where you're confused, you don't understand it. Okay, all right, number 14. And the answer is many fishermen live by the ocean. Okay, by the ocean means next to or close to the ocean. All right, the other ones aren't going to work for you, especially in the ocean. They don't live in the ocean. All right, okay, number 15. And the answer is, where were the students this morning? Did I trick you here? <laughs> okay, first of all, it's plural, so we need were, all right, and... The next thing is, it's in the past. It's this morning. Almost always, when we say this morning, we're talking about the past. Now, the present perfect tense would work here if you said, where have the students been this morning? But with the simple present, it's never going to work. Okay, number 16. And the answer is, what time did you get up yesterday? All right, in this question, what is the only one that works here? And we're talking about a specific time. What time did you get up there? All right, not how many time, not how much time, not when time. It's what time. What, really we mean at what time, okay? All right, number 17. And the answer is, where can I find a good used car to buy? It's another question where 
we need where. It's the only one that makes sense here. And you can see where can I find. All right. What place? Where? You got it? Okay. Number 18. And the answer is, I was really thirsty today. So I drank a lot of water and juice. We're talking about the past tense. What did I do today? I was thirsty. And what did I do? I drank. Drank is the past tense of drink. Okay? All right. Number 19. And the answer is, your parents should not put so much pressure on you. They must not choose your friends either. All right, we have choose and either. The first one, they must not. All right, the modal must. You have to use the base form of the verb, which is choose. All right, your friends. And we use either. It kind of means also here. All right. The last question, number 20. And the answer is, climate change most likely will disrupt farming and wipe out thousands of species of animals and plants. Here we're talking about destruction. Okay, that's what wipe out means here. So the only one that works is wipe out on all these words. If you're not sure what they mean, look them up. Okay? That's all for this video. Please let me know how you did on the test. And remember what I always say, keep practicing. See you next time.